Rasputin and Disneyland. Who thought those two words would ever show up in no, the same sentence? I, I was so surprised when you actually said this was the story that you were doing because I thought, how? How, how? does this even happen? How? How? Can we go on to the next slide, please? Yes. Okay. So on August 1969, the Haunted Mansion sorry, made its debut in Anaheim, California's Disneyland to rave reviews. Disney's Imagineers, oh, I love that word, they're an Imagineer. Yeah, it's like the Mouseketeers, we've got they're the Imagineers. Imagineers. Had managed to capture the picture-perfect representation of a classic haunted mansion from cinema and pull it into the real world. Mischievous ghosts and all. The attraction was a technological marvel of its time, featuring a blend of state-of-art animatronics and old school theatre illusions yeah. that wowed crowds and established the Haunted Mansion as a signature Disney icon. Now, we all have a story about somewhere where we have went and we have seen absolutely crap animatronics, really awful, awful animatronics. And I think you've got to be old enough to go back into your mind and search for those places. But if you have ever been anywhere where the animatronics that you saw just made you cringe with horror, um, put it down where it was. There's no shame here. I actually, <laughs> those places probably don't exist anymore. Do That's you know, Renata has never been to America. She's never been to Disneyland. Did you go to the Japan one? No. Oh, see, so she can't go on a lot of the rides because of vertigo, but um, there... There is so much more to see and do at Disneyland, but one of the cringeworthy animatronics that I did see was um, oh, it was like the hillbillies. It was in this uh, pub, and it was like big bears playing the bottle and and a rabbit doing something else, and they were just really they were really quite ancient. And I know it's part of the history of Disneyland, yes, but uh, they were really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to a place and there were koalas and it was just horrendous. Oh, these, I these remember that too. These, these koalas look like something out of a monster movie. It's quite interesting that old animatronics look like, like they're horror. All right, well, horror. Anyway, I'm, anyway, I'm determined we'll get you to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. What you might not know is that development on the iconic ride began nearly tw two decades earlier and involved some pretty famous phantoms. 20 years prior to the Haunted Mansion starting, they started thinking about it and starting to sort of, you know, get it going. Um, so, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm jumping around pages here yeah, for poor you, Renata because I'm that? trying to get onto the website as well so I can see the comments from there. You ready for the next yes, one? Yes, yes, yes. This in itself is spooky. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Walt Disney first began mulling over the concepts for the Haunted <laughs> Mansion in the 50s and listing many of his favorite artists to help bring the project to reality so initially the attraction was designed with storylines that would have featured the most famous historical characters in the world like jack the ripper guy fawkes ivan the terrible and more but somewhere during the haunted mansion's 20 years of development disney imagineer mark davis decided that gregory rasputin a seemingly unlikable Russian mystic. Or unkillable. Or unkillable, unlikable. <laughs> uh, everyone unkillable. loved him. They were all um, quite, oh, something just fell down from up there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We've had an apport. Anyway, um, an unkillable Russian mystic would make an obviously and fabulously frightening phantom. After all, when it takes stabbing, poisoning, four shootings, a clubbing oh, nothing like a, a good drowning. Clubbing. you put your disco <laughs> gear on and go club a drowning <laughs> to adequately kill someone there's a good chance they'll make a pretty scary ghost so mark mm. davis began to draw up a suitably spooky portrait of rasputin capitalizing on his hypnotic eyes by designing a painting that would gradually morph into an eerie all-seeing eyeball oh that's like that that you're seeing right now that is the creepiest thing ever so the creepy concept was well received by other Imagineers, but when he hit the desk of Walt Disney, he Im immediately rejected Rasputin's ghost. As it turns out, Disney wasn't frightened by the idea of having 
the infamous healer take up residence as a ghost in the haunted mansion, even with his fairly gruesome demise and what? dismembered penis what? that was far more afraid of being sued. Oh. I didn't hear that story about Rasputin's penis. I'm no. going to go back and read <laughs> history. What? <laughs> I know. Did, does anyone know about that? I, 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 <laughs> okay. No. All right. No, I, I have to say that I have not heard the story about his dismem disfigured whatever it was penis. Does anyone know? Is it, can anyone tell us what happened to Paul Rasputin's penis? And when? When? Like, was it between the, the stabbing and the shooting or the clubbing and the drowning? Oh, that's what <laughs> I want to know. But my goodness. Someone must have been jealous of his member. I well, yes. Say. Oh, yes, look at the eyes. Yes, because, like, he he really did a job on the um, royal family and the females there. So, yes, he, um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, anyway, at the time, Grigor Rasputin had only been dead for a little over three decades and as such still had plenty of living relatives with their family members while well publicised death all fresh in their minds. So to have Rasputin in the haunted mansion would be an invitation for legal ah. trouble. And to be fair, angering the family of an infamous Russian wizard is probably a terrible idea to begin with. You thunk? <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> wow but look at those eyes i know yeah wow i've seen a couple of stories about rasputin and he was such a driven a driven man within his own um within his own soul i reckon if this person appeared today in our world most of the people that are watching this channel right now would say that he was possessed, that he had mm. um, an independent soul, an independent demon living within him, uh, making him do the things that he that he did. Yeah. Um, there was no stopping this man. So in the end, Disney scrapped the idea of using famous figures in the Haunted Mansion completely, though echoes of the original concept still linger in the attraction. Those who pay close attention can even spot many of these original figures reworked as the Sinister Eleven. Ah. Por <coughs> portraits. <coughs> Pardon me. Copy. You'll be fine. Portraits which hung inside the Haunted Mansion in Orlando's Walt Disney World, complete with eyes that follow you everywhere. These days they've been relegated to the load-in area of the mansion, sadly with plain old eyeballs. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if you can figure out which one it was the original uh, Rasputin um, painting That's that they um, changed. Catherine pointed out there, said uh, the first possible serial killer. Oh. Could be. Could be. Could be. Uh, he had no regard for anyone, which is the truth of it. Um, I. It's, he's a, a, an absolutely fascinating character. Um, and in saying that, you kind of go, well, this, this man was an absolute monster. Why do you want to know about him? But that's what seems to attract people to his story. Um, yeah. So we have we have one more slide. Right. So I'll, I'll get back over to the slideshow, okay. shall I? I was just yes. waiting to see if people could pick. Um, so we've got one guest here from Vanessa Taris who said number two. So I'm not sure what that is because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven there. So if we go from the top left across, that's one, two. So the man sitting down with the mustache. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's quite a few there that could pass off as Rasputin, I do believe. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, thank you for the guess. Oh, here we are. Um, Karen said number five. One, two, three, four, five of the hands clasped. Mm -hmm. um, Cher has said, uh, is it Cher or Cherie? I uh, has said number four. So that's the one with the lantern. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very interesting. Shall we go to the um, yes? Let's to, have a look. To the answer. Let's have a reveal. Ta -da! Oh, well yes. done, Karen. So, Gregory <laughs> Rasputin, can oh, you back, go back? Oh, sorry, sorry, I sorry. need to take that away from you. Well, yeah, I mean, you can do it. Here we are. This is my last slide. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Grigori Rasputin was infamously hard to kill, 
And true to form, even Walt Disney couldn't fully banish the mad monk to the afterlife. <laughs> Mark Davis had Rasputin's portrait altered, greying his hair, tweaking the nose and renaming the piece The Ogre before sending it off to the Haunted Mansion, where it still hangs to this day. With a slight disguise, the Russian mystic still ended up as a ghost in the Haunted Mansion after all. Hard to kill indeed. <laughs> Isn't that a great story? Well, he does. And I like... Um, uh... And thank you to um, Gaina, Michelle, Catherine, Andy, all for having guesses there as well. Oh, sure, Shuri. Right, cool. Thank you. Learning. I hope I don't get it wrong again because I've got a very short attention span. I forget. Vanessa reckons he looks like Bigfoot, and he does. Oh, he actually does.